Hello, my lovely Marshall Blanders. How are you? How are you? What is going on? I hope everybody's doing great. Just wanted to hop on and chit chat, share with you some of the things I have been loving. For the presses, I've been loving the Rusk Thermal Shine Spray. This is really good. So after you've blown the hair dry, you use the cool air and cool the hair off. Let it sit for about two, three, even five minutes. Let it sit and then you spray it with the thermal shine or if your client is careful uh, like has a allergies or not allergies but it just doesn't respond well to spray there are some clients who do not respond well to spray instead of spraying it on their hair spray it on your hand you know don't emulsify too much just mix it around and then with your hand spread it through the hair comb it through and then proceed to press and it gives you a really good press. What I like about it is that it also creates a really good memory. So let's say the ends get a little frazzled or something happens four or five days later. With lower heat, let me tell you, whenever you've gotten a silk press, never go back with high heat because if you go back with high heat, you are creating heat damage. And I have known of people, not clients of mine, who have complained about heat damage and then when I asked them, so you're saying there was heat damage, but did you go and press the hair yourself again afterwards? Yeah, I did. Okay, so you cannot necessarily blame the artist if you went back on your hair with 450. No added heat protection, you know, and passed it multiple times. That Then you don't blame the hair artist for your own created heat damage. The other thing that I do like. Trader Joe's has a serum. So this is the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Hair Serum. You can use this as for, for the finishing. You take a little bit, put it on for the finishing, the polish, or you just take like one or two drops. You don't need a lot of it. This you do emulsify in your hand, pass through the ends, and you don't necessarily have to bring it up to the roof to the roots but if you want to you can massage the scalp with it as well and then you can proceed to whatever you're gonna do if you're gonna curl it instead because you don't want it straight anymore or if you're gonna just do like rebump the ends or whatever you're gonna do it's really good it does provide some heat protection so again if you're retouching up a silk press or a press you do not use anything above 410 degrees. My actual advice would be 320, but there are some hairs that 320 doesn't even tickle it. So don't go above 410 degrees and don't go over one repass. Okay, so that's important to- No, don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Because then you're gonna be creating heat damage. Now this, let me tell you something. I love it for all types of hair. This product is specifically made for relaxed hair. I feel that the Affirm Company, the Affirm Company and their products are wonderful for hair that is color treated, bleached or lightened, that is relaxed, and that is natural. Their products are wonderful. They're wonderful. They bring back an, an acid balance, which all hair needs. So I really do enjoy using their hair, their products. This product, I will tell you, I love to incorporate in my color uh, treatments. This is one that I like to put together with the um, Olaplex number two. And this is a firm's conditioning relaxer system product called Positive Link Conditioner. It's a Positive Link Conditioner is what it's called. Positive Link Conditioner. It says it's for medium to coarse hair, normalizes hair as it restores hair to a pH balanced state. It contains argan oil, Pecky, pecky and Buriti oils that add much needed moisture and nutrients to hair while it's being neutralized after relaxing. It does smooth the hair cuticle while adding shine and decreasing frizziness. It, this is a wonderful product. And yes, like I said, it is made for relaxed hair, but it works beautifully on color treated hair, lightened hair, and natural hair. And it's one that I use as part of the base whenever I am using a semi 
permanent color on any client. So I just wanted to share those things that I've been doing uh, using recently. I have not been um, in full force, but I have been getting to do some hair and having fun and enjoying myself. I hope you are all uh, enjoying yourselves and having fun and uh, having fun with your hair. Tell me what you've done recently with your hair. Have you changed anything? Have you added anything? Have you taken anything away? What have you done within these past few months? I am interested. If you've discovered any new products, if you've discovered, 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 discovered new treatments, let me know. Share. Okay. Goodbye, my lovely Marshall Blender. I'll see you soon. Ooh. Huh? <laughs> Bye-bye.